Hello students, how are you all? Our today's topic is general introduction of chapter chemical bonding and molecular structure. Along with it, we will study about ionic bond or electrovalent bond in this video. Let's begin with general introduction. As we know that except for noble gases, no other element exists as independent atoms under ordinary conditions. Most of the atoms exist as molecules which are cluster or aggregates of atoms or ions of same or different elements. This raises many questions like First question is why do atoms combine with each other? Second question is why do certain atoms combine whereas others do not? Bacho, thonu pata hai ke noble gases independent atoms the form the which exist kar sak diya haan. Par ina to ilawa hor koi vi atoms independent atoms the form the which exist nahi kar de. Oh hamesha ek dousre de naal jod ke molecular form the which exist kar de haan. Atoms aapas which combine kyon kar de haan? Kuj atoms aapas which combine kar de haan? बाकी नहीं कर दे। Third question is what is the nature of forces which hold the atoms together in a molecule? वो केडियां इस तरह दिया forces हैं जेडियां molecule के विचार atoms नू आपस से विच बन के रख दिया हैं। Why do molecules possess definite shapes? From this chapter we will get the answers of all these questions. So, how was he is chapter bare jar deha? Let's try to find out the answer of our first question that is, why do atoms combine? Kozel and Lewis explained that atoms combine to form molecules just to acquire noble gas configuration. So, first factor is tendency to acquire noble gas configuration. Lewis and Kozel explain the cause of chemical combination on the basis of electronic theory of valency. It has been found that noble gases are extra stable due to completely filled or fully filled electronic configurations. For example, the electronic configuration of helium is 1s2. So here duplet is complete for helium. In case of neon, its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So here the outer outermost shell that is valence shell is second. So here octet is complete that means 8 electrons in the valence shell. Next in case of argon its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So here the valence shell is third and it is fully filled. So its octet is complete. In case of krypton, the outermost shell is fourth, that is electronic configuration 4s2, 4p6. So here also the octet is complete and so on. So noble gases have eight electrons in their valence shell and every other atom tends to acquire eight electrons in their valence shell and thus tends to complete their octet. This is called as octet rule. According to them, this is the only reason behind chemical combination. So, Bacchio, according to Lewis de Kozel, atoms aapas de which combine karke molecules is karke bana deya, taan ke o stable noble gas configuration acquire kar sakan. Bacchio, aao asi is concept de limitations bari gal kar de haan. First is the compounds like BF3, AlCl3, FeCl3 also exist in which the central atom has less than 8 electrons in their valence shell. BF3, AlCl3 and FeCl3 molecules they which in the central atom the valence shell they which 8 electrons naalo kaat electrons hoon de baavjood 
ਇਹ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਕਟੈਟ ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਲਿਮਿਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਰ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲਸ ਲਾਈਕ PCL5 SF6 IF7 also exist in which the central atom has more than 8 electrons in their valence shell PCL5 SF6 te IF7 varge molecules ina di valence shell de vich noble gas configuration that is octet to vadh electrons present hon de bavjood a molecules exist karde ha is da matlab kalla ik hi ehi karan nahi hai ਕਿ ਐਟਮਸ ਆਪਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਬਾਈਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਟੂ ਐਕਵਾਇਰ ਨੋਬਲ ਗੈਸ ਕਨਫਿਗਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿੰਨੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਦੇਖੀਆਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵੈਲੈਂਸ ਸ਼ੈਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੌਨਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਉਹ ਜਾਂ ਤਾਂ 8 ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੌਨਸ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਘਟ ਆ ਜਾਂ 8 ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੌਨਸ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਆ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਥਰਡ ਲਿਮਿਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ even noble gases form compounds such as xef2 xef4 xef6 etc ਇਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਕਿ noble gases ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਟੇਬਲ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕੰਪਾਊਂਡ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਜ਼ੀਨੋਨ ਡਾਈਫਲੋਰਾਈਡ ਟੈਟਰਾਫਲੋਰਾਈਡ ਹੈਕਸਾਫਲੋਰਾਈਡ etc thus tendency to acquire noble gas configuration is not the only reason for atoms to combine with each other so there must be another reason also let's find out second reason is tendency to acquire minimum energy according to modern view atoms combine to form molecules to acquire minimum energy and maximum stability lesser the energy more is the stability whenever two atoms approach each other two types of forces comes into play first is attractive forces and second is repulsive forces attractive forces lead to decrease of energy and repulsive forces lead to increase of energy if the magnitude of attractive forces is more than that of repulsive forces then the bond will be formed otherwise not hence the atoms combine with each other only if the process leads to lowering of energy बच्चो दूसरा कारण है कि एटम्स आपस दे विच कंबाइन करके मॉलिक्यूल इस करके बनांदे हन कि ओ अपनी एनर्जी नु घटा सकन जिन्नी घट एनर्जी होएगी उन्नी ही स्टेबिलिटी ज्यादा होएगी जिमे के असी इथे देख रहे हां कि हाइड्रोजन एटम्स आपस विच मिलके हाइड्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल बनांदे हन ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਟਰੈਕਟਿਵ ਤੇ ਰਿਪਲਸਿਵ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਦੇਖੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਅਟਰੈਕਟਿਵ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਰਿਪਲਸਿਵ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਪੋਟੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ એનર્ਜੀ ਡਾਇਗ੍ਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਹਾਈਡਰੋਜਨ ਐਟਮਸ ਆਪਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਜ਼ਦੀਕ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਓਵਰਲੈਪ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਤਾਂ એનર્ਜੀ ਡਿਕਰੀਜ਼ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜੇਕਰ ਉਹ ਹੋਰ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਨਜ਼ਦੀਕ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਰਿਪਲਸਿਵ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਵੱਧ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ એનર્ਜੀ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ ਹੋਣੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬੌਂਡ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਘੱਟ એનર્ਜੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਬੌਂਡ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਟਮਸ ਆਪਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਬਾਈਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਟੂ ਐਕਵਾਇਰ ਮਿਨੀਮਮ એનર્ਜੀ and hence to acquire maximum stability our next topic is lewis symbols gn lewis proposed that atoms can be easily represented by a writing symbol of the atom and then putting the valence electrons as dots or crosses over it these are called as electron dot structures according to lewis all the electrons in an atom are not involved in the process of combination it is only the outermost electrons 
which takes part in the chemical combination. Therefore, these are also called valence shell electrons or simply outermost shell electrons. So, Lewis introduced simple notations to represent valence electrons in an atom. For example, if we have to represent electron dot structure of lithium, it can be represented by placing one dot around lithium symbol because the electronic configuration of lithium is 1s2, 2s1. So there is only one electron in the outermost shell of lithium. In case of beryllium, the outermost electrons are two. So the electron dot structure of beryllium can be shown by placing two dots around the symbol of beryllium. In case of boron, the outermost electrons are three. So its Lewis symbol can be represented by placing three dots around boron atom. In case of carbon, the outermost electrons are four because its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So in the second shell, that is the outermost shell, four electrons are there. So the Lewis symbol can be represented by placing four dots around carbon. In case of nitrogen, the valence electrons are 5. So, Lewis simple can be represented by placing 5 dots around nitrogen. Next is oxygen. Its Lewis symbol can be represented by placing 6 dots around oxygen symbol. In case of fluorine, the valence electrons are 7. So its Lewis symbol can be represented by placing seven dots around fluorine atom. In case of neon, the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So there are eight electrons in the valence shell. So the Lewis symbol can be represented by placing eight dots around neon atom. We can also write the Lewis dot symbols of ions. For example, if we have to write the Lewis symbol of lithium positive ion as there is only one outermost electron in the lithium atom. So if we remove that electron the lowest dot symbol can simply be rep represented by placing lithium positive without any dot. In case of oxide ion there is two negative charge that means two extra electrons are present so its symbol can be represented by placing eight dots around oxide ion. In case of chloride ion as there are seven valence electrons in case of chlorine and we add one electron as represented by negative charge so the Lewis symbol can be represented by placing eight dots around chloride ion. In the same way, we can represent nitride ion. Lewis symbols helps to calculate the common valence of the elements. The common valence of element is either equal to the number of dots in the Lewis symbol, if these are less than equal to four, and 8 minus the number of dots if these are greater than 4. For example, in case of boron, the number of valence electrons are 3, which are less than 4. So the common valence is 3 for boron. But in case of nitrogen atom, the number of valence electrons are 5, which are greater than 4. So its valence can be calculated by subtracting the number of valence electrons from 8. So its common valence is 8 minus 5 that is equal to 3. To find out the answer of third question that is what is the nature of force which hold the atoms together in a molecule. Let's study chemical bond. 
the force of attraction which holds the constituent particles that is atoms ions or molecules in a chemical species together is called a chemical bond ajehi force of attraction jehdi kise chemical species which constituent particles nu aapas vich jod ke rakhti hai us nu chemical bond kehnde han our next topic is types of chemical bonds it is of two main types first is ionic bond or electrovalent bond and second is covalent bond in spite of these two bonds we will also discuss coordinate covalent bond so let's study ionic bond or electrovalent bond when a bond is formed by complete transference of electrons from one atom to another so as to complete their octet and acquire nearest noble gas configuration the bond formed is called ionic bond or electrovalent bond it is also defined as the electrostatic forces of attraction which holds the oppositely charged ions together is called an ionic bond bachyo ionic bond which kise ek atom to dusre atom vichkar electron ki complete transference hundi hai jis naal ek atom apne vichon electron nu remove karke kise dusre atom nu de dinda hai jis atom vichon electron remove hunda hai oh positively charged ion ban janda hai jis nu assi cation kehnde ha te jehda electron gain kar lenda hai oh negatively charged ion ban janda hai jis nu assi anion kehnde ha inna dono oppositely charged ions de vichkar jehdi electrostatic forces of attraction hundi hai jehdi inna dono oppositely charged ions nu jod ke rakhdi hai us nu ionic bond kehnde ha it is always formed by two dissimilar atoms one atom which has one or more electrons more than nearest noble gas configuration by losing the electron becomes cation and the other has one or more electrons less than nearest noble gas configuration by gaining the electron becomes anion the electrostatic forces of attraction which holds the two oppositely charged ions together is called ionic bond for example in the formation of sodium chloride as in case of sodium the electronic configuration is 281 so it has one electron greater than the nearest noble gas neon in case of chlorine its electronic configuration is 287 so it has one electron less than nearest noble gas configuration so in this case sodium donate its extra electron completely to chlorine atom so that sodium becomes sodium positive ion while chlorine takes up the electron and it becomes negatively charged chloride ion now they both acquire nearest noble gas configuration these are held together by electrostatic forces of attraction which constitute the ionic bond next example is of magnesium oxide in this case magnesium has two more electrons than the nearest noble gas neon and on the other hand oxygen has two electrons less than the nearest noble gas neon so here magnesium can donate its two electrons completely to oxygen atom and becomes mg2 positive ion and oxygen by gaining to its 
becomes oxide ion. Now they both have nearest noble gas configuration and form magnesium oxide. In the formation of calcium chloride, as in case of calcium, it has two electrons more than nearest noble gas configuration argon. So calcium loses its both the electrons to the two chlorine atoms, each of which is in need of one electron. This results in the formation of calcium 2 positive ion and chloride ions. Each of these ions acquire noble gas configuration and form calcium chloride. Now let's study conditions for the formation of ionic bonds. So first condition is low ionization energies. The atoms which is to lose the electrons and form cation must have lower ionization energies. For example, alkali and alkaline earth metals have greater tendency to form ionic bonds. Bacho, jimme ke thwanu pata hai, jinni kise atom di ionization energy kaat hundi hai, unni jaldi o apne vicho electron lose kar denda hai. Is lai, metals jimme ke alkali te alkaline earth metals jina di ionization energy kaafi kaat hundi hai. Generally, ionic compounds panondiyahan. Second is high electron gain enthalpy. The atom which is to gain electron and form an ion must have high negative electron gain enthalpy. For example, halogens and oxygen group elements mostly form ionic bonds. But you जिस एटम ने इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन करने होंदे हन, उस दी इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन इंथेल्पी हाईली नेगेटिव होनी चाहिए दी है. Higher the value of negative electron gain इंथेल्पी, greater will be the ease of formation of anion. जिमे हेलोजन्स ते ऑक्सीजन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स दी electron gain enthalpy highly negative hundi hai is lai o zyada tar ionic compounds banaunde han third condition is high lattice enthalpy the amount of energy released when free ions in the gaseous state combine together to form one mole of a solid crystal is called lattice enthalpy. In this case, M positive in gaseous state combines with X negative in gaseous state and form one mole of Mx solid crystal and releases energy in the form of lattice enthalpy. Higher the lattice energy, easier the ionic compound will be formed. Lattice energy depends upon two factors. First is charge on the ion. Greater the magnitude of charge on the ion, higher will be the inter-ionic interactions and greater is the lattice enthalpy. Second is size of the ion. Smaller the size of the ion, there will be greater inter-ionic interactions because of the high charge density and higher is the lattice energy. Now, if the net effect of the above three factors is the release of energy, then ionic bond will be formed, otherwise not. So, but you, in a thin factors, they upper ionic bond the formation depend kar di hai. Jimme ke, pehla si, कि जिस एटम ने अपने विचो इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करने होंदे हन, उस एटम दी आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी 
ਘੱਟ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਐਟਮ ਨੇ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਗੇਨ ਕਰਨੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਗੇਨ ਇਨਥੈਲਪੀ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਤੀਸਰਾ ਫੈਕਟਰ ਸੀ ਹਾਈ ਲੈਟਿਸ ਇਨਥੈਲਪੀ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਲੈਟਿਸ ਇਨਥੈਲਪੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਉਨਾ ਹੀ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਆਇਨਿਕ ਕੰਪਾਉਂਡ ਫਾਰਮ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਆਵਰ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਇਜ਼ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਦ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਲੋਸਟ ਔਰ ਗੇਨਡ ਡਿਊਰਿੰਗ ਦ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਆਇਨਿਕ ਬੌਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲਡ ਐਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਦ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਇਨ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਕਲੋਰਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੱਸ 1 ਐਂਡ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਕਲੋਰੀਨ ਇਨ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਕਲੋਰਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈਨਸ 1 ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਨ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਕਲੋਰਾਈਡ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਲੂਜ਼ਸ 1 ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਐਂਡ ਕਲੋਰੀਨ ਗੇਨਸ 1 ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਮੈਗਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਇਨ ਮੈਗਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਆਕਸਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੱਸ 2 ਐਂਡ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਵੈਲੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਆਕਸੀਜਨ ਇਨ ਮੈਗਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਆਕਸਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈਨਸ 2 because in magnesium oxide magnesium loses two electrons and oxygen gains two electrons the electrovalency of calcium in calcium chloride is plus 2 and electrovalency of chlorine in calcium chloride is minus 1 because in this case calcium loses two electrons but chlorine gain one electron Now let's discuss characteristics of ionic compounds. So first is ionic solids are generally crystalline in nature. They possesses high melting and boiling points because of strong interionic forces. The ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction and hence large amount of energy is required to break the crystal lattice. second characteristic is they are good conductor of electricity in the solution or in their molten state because in solution or in molten states the ions become free to move however they do not conduct electricity in their solid state third is ionic bond is non directional in nature this is because in an ionic compound each ion is surrounded by oppositely charged ions uniformly distributed all around and therefore these are non directional in nature fourth characteristic is ionic solids are soluble in polar solvents and insoluble in non polar solvents this is because of larger electrostatic interactions between polar solvents and ions students i hope my videos will be helpful to understand the concepts and cover your syllabus in this pandemic so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates thanks for watching